Hello there, Sir from 17 once again. This is just some quick Black Ops 2 gameplay. As I mentioned, there's going to be more of it on my channel. Uh, some people don't like that, some people do. It's completely preference. Uh, I'm not really going to be talking about the gameplay. Uh, all this is is me running around with a, an overpowered weapon on a good connection. And uh, you know that pretty much sums up Call of Duty, really. Uh, instead of being the people who you know are getting into gunfights and swearing they've won them and losing them, uh, I'm the person winning the gunfights, and a lot of the times it can be skill, so-called skill. Most of the times it's, it's probably internet-based, but this is slums. You've seen it before. You'll see it again because it's a, a highly frequented map, and uh, this was recorded in the previous s uh, video session, essentially. It came from that same night with the boys, so you'll see some familiar names if you, if you watch closely. Uh, also, you'll notice... There's some interesting moments where the sound isn't there, and it's an editing fail on my end due to audio reasons. I'll fix that in future. It's just when I was cutting up these videos to make those interesting vignettes, I was losing the original audio, and I rendered it. I rendered it out, sorry, and then I saved it and deleted all the the raw footage, and I lost it. So I couldn't go back and change it. So uh, I don't think too many people are going to find it too distracting, but I'm going to say it just to highlight it before somebody points it out, thinking I didn't know when I did, because a lot of the times, if you've seen a flaw with my videos, guys, I've spotted it too, and it's pained me to keep it in, but it's just sometimes the way it is. If it's a typo in a title, I will not have spotted that, because all I do is copy and paste when I'm doing big projects, so I can mess that up, I'm only human. <laughs> but back on topic, so... I am back from my girlfriend's house, and I do not have any videos made at all. I'm completely out of videos at this moment in time. And that's why you haven't seen one today. Because I came back yesterday night. And if I'd have had any made or stored or stocked up, I would have uploaded them last night. But I haven't. And that's not a problem because I'll just make some. But it's a case of this is going to be all you're going to get until I make some. Just a quick video saying that, you know, I'm back. I will continue to work on projects that have already been worked on, and uh, you should be seeing them soon. And for anybody who doesn't know what those projects are going to be, I'm currently waiting for my rental service to, to give me both Crisis 3 and Tomb Raider. I'm very excited for both of those games. I'm hoping I'm going to get them sooner rather than later so I can make the guide and help people. And uh, they should be pretty good. Uh, I don't imagine them taking too long to make. I assume they'll have challenging sections and hopefully I'll be able to figure out some interesting strategies for those moments. The big games coming up are obviously Gears of War Judgment and God of War Ascension. A lot of people are asking me if I'm covering them. The best question to ask is literally what aren't I covering when it comes to the, the big releases. I'm going to try and do as many of them as I can. Uh, not only does it help the channel just from a YouTube perspective, but they're the games I would normally play anyway because I've always been the type of person to try and play all the the good releases and this year does have a couple of sleepers I think because as it stands none of them are too exciting uh, there's, there's no you know gonna blow you away moment yet I, I do think perhaps the new Bioshock could be that moment but as it stands there's just a lot of exciting prospects and hopefully they'll turn out to be really good games uh, the guides that are currently going up I'm working on a couple of different things at this moment in time. I will finish the Saints Row. It's just taking forever, and I can't help it because I'm not enjoying it, guys. That's the, the big problem. When I sit down and I play it, it is fun. I'm just not enjoying how long the game is, and it, it makes it difficult for me, and I'm, I'm just going to do it when I can. I am going to cover the Ascension demo if I have time. I have played it, for anybody wondering. The demo is great. I was not excited whatsoever for the new God of War. I was going to play it regardless, I just wasn't really excited because to me, it's too soon, you know. I know it's been nearly three years since the last one, but they kind of covered everything I needed in that universe. And to me, God of War 3 was not the game I wanted it to be. It was a fantastic game, it's just compared to 2, I don't think it was as good. And... I was ready for a little bit of a break, the same way I'm ready for a break from Assassin's Creed, the same way I'm ready for a break from Gears of War, and the same way that none of those developers have decided to give us a break, they've all decided to do prequels, different era sequels, all that kind of shit. You know, it's, a, it's just the way the industry is, and I do think some titles will suffer, but upon playing the, the demo that they've made, I can happily say I was blown away in some ways. 
you know, I, I thought they'd pretty much done everything they could do with that series, and it's very familiar, but it's still exciting, and it's fun, and that is a fundamental thing a lot of games are lacking these days. There's, it's just fun, and I've played it twice. I always tend to find, try and find criticisms with things so I can highlight things I'm concerned about, but as it stands, there's not really all that many things that I don't like, which is a good thing, obviously, and I think it's going to be a really, really top title. I just, you know, if I do make that video, I, I will follow that tangent through and explain all my, my mindset at, at this moment in time. But there are other things to discuss. When I cover this, I will be plugging my HD PVR into my PS3, which is a fantastic opportunity to do some PS3 stuff. So I'm going to be making a Demon Souls playthrough. For a lot of people that liked my, my life playthrough of Dark Souls, I'm going to be doing the same treatment to Demon Souls. And... One of the good things about this is Demon Souls is not my game at all. I am nowhere near as good at it as I am at Dark Souls, and I've not played either of them for quite some time now, so I should have just the, the right edge of rust that'll make it amusing and interesting, and hopefully people will enjoy it. I don't know if I'm going to do a guide, because it's an old game. Uh, I've searched on YouTube, and there are a handful of guides. None of them are, are too amazing that's not to offend anybody if you've made one it's just in my opinion there is no guide that I clicked on and I immediately felt oh I can destroy this game right now and that's what I did for Dark Souls in in my opinion and that's what I would like to do for Demon Souls but I think it'd be a, a much more difficult thing to do because breaking Demon Souls is doable and it's very simple to do but it involves using an exploit which a lot of people know about it is the duplication that you can do that completely breaks the game. So that's just an interesting thing to, to ponder over. But other projects, I do have a couple of balls deeps because I've got a couple of games right now from my rental service that I have no intentions of playing. I might be actually making a Ninja Gaiden 3 video. I don't want to. I just feel like I, I sh I'm obliged to. And to give you a little understanding of why I say this, I finally played it again and beat hard. And... You know, thanks to certain disappointing games this year, it didn't feel as bad as my first intentions. I had a lot more patience with it. I don't know if it's because of how much time I left, because I, I didn't play it for a year, and that's definitely helped. The game is still bad in almost every conceivable way. It's still unresponsive, still doesn't, you know, do what you want it to do at times, and it's extremely frustrating, but I've started my Master Ninja playthrough, and... So far, it's, it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, it's very spammy, it's very boring to watch, but when I beat it, if I do, if I have the patience to do it, because it's not going to be a, about skill, it's literally going to be about the, the will to keep playing this game that I find to be immensely boring. I'll probably make an Ultimate Ninja video on my path through that. I, I'll not cover the entire game, because as I've mentioned, it it's just not good, guys. It's just not good. And Razor's Edge is coming out, and I'm hoping that now that I've got back into... Ninja Gaiden 3 about as much as I can get into it in as far as I don't completely hate it and want to snap the disc it's going to big me up a little bit and prepare me for, for Razor's Edge another project I would like to start but I don't own it yet is a Master Ninja playthrough of Sigma 2 because it's been a long time since Ninja Gaiden 2 and Master Ninja mode have, have gone together in my life and I think it's about time I, I did that so just a couple of things on the horizon Nothing guaranteed, nothing promised, except for the, the AAA titles and the big releases. But hopefully some exciting times, you know, on this channel. There will be more Dark Souls, there will be a couple of a different games you've not seen in a while, like Gears of War 3. Just, just diversity, guys, and if that's not your thing, feel free to leave. Just don't make a big fuss about it, because my subscribers will probably eat you alive. So thanks for watching, and you take care now.